Today's catch, bluefin tuna. Prized for its buttery flesh, this large tuna will soon become gourmet sushi. The tuna are fished not from the deep ocean, but from huge ponds just off of Japan's shores. And in a major leap for aquaculture researchers, these fish were hatched from eggs and raised in these pens. Completely farmed from beginning to end for three generations now, says Tokihiko Okada. We have to leave nature intact, he says, because if we take too much from it, we won't be able to eat wild tuna. They'll be gone. The bluefin population has plummeted globally. The World Wildlife Fund predicts Mediterranean bluefin will be wiped out by 2012, all due to massive overfishing to fill the appetite of gourmet diners. Kinky University hopes to save wild tuna by offering completely farm-raised tuna, one of the few programs to successfully breed and raise a delicate bluefin. And then capture, package, and ship out to restaurants like Monterey Bay Fish Grotto in McLean, Virginia in the U.S. The Kindai tuna is executive chef John Dober's featured special for the evening. It is indistinguishable from wild bluefin, says Dober, except that the Kindai tuna from Japan is served without a side of guilt to his diners. I'm a young chef, so I want to be, I want to cook fish for a long, long time. So uh, making sure that they're here to, uh, to, to cook is going to be uh, a major priority for us. In Tokyo, the world sushi capital, market shoppers duke it out for the best of the Kindai tuna. I think it tastes better, says the shopper, and it's better for the tuna population. It also doesn't hurt that in Japan, farm bluefin costs half the price of wild tuna. But some environmentalists say farm-raised bluefin tuna is not the answer, in part because of this. These are fish caught in the wild, and a massive amount of them are needed in order to feed all of this tuna. So you're just depleting other wild fish to raise the farm tuna, argues Greenpeace. It's not the fundamental solution to save wild tuna, says Wako Hanaoka, who believes educating the diner and stemming the demand is the real solution. But that's unrealistic, say many chefs. The demand for bluefin tuna will never go away. Doesn't matter if, unfortunately, in the world that we live, if you say this is the very last bluefin tuna, it'll be worth $10 million. Kinky University is working on a vegetable protein to feed their farm tuna to make it an even greener choice. Researchers say they know it's not a perfect solution, but it is a step towards saving a species disappearing and demands insatiable appetite. Kyung La, CNN, Kushimoto, Japan.